Hey guys, welcome back. It's your boy Screen Slot. You tuned in to Lap It Up, the Drink of Your Series. Today's drink is brought to you by Sue Rocks. That's right. I found one of the other flavors. <laughs> Seems there are quite a few. Well, not quite a few. I think it might be five or six. Um, this is the Berry Blast. Long enough, you'll become a thumbnail. Come on. Well, that's the Michael Bates. Lens flares. That's pretty. That's right. I have one to this product. Um, zero, zero sugars. For some reason, eight ions. And I'm wondering if that's kind of a. Let's see if that helps. Yeah. That tends to. Um, zero calories, 110 milligrams of sodium, zero is all the way down, it's got the 38 milligrams of sodium, potassium, 94 milligrams, 10 milligrams of magnesium, 7 milligrams of zinc, and 252 milligrams of chloride. <clears throat> That's to make me docile. So the government can tell me what to do. Where's it the fluoride? The fluoride? I think it was fluoride. You know, that my doctors, my dentists say I should probably need more of for my teeth. Right? Sounds like it won't be complacent. Conspiracy theorists. Love to hate them. Um, it says new flavor. I think they all say new flavor. So I'm not quite sure what the deal is there. It's not bad. It's a light berry flavor. It's not overpowering. A little bit of a, little bit of an aftertaste there, but not like bad. It's just the lingering flavor. It stays with you a little bit. But it's not too bad to like after this. I need a water. You know, it's kind of refreshing. It's a nice little um, raspberry. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, this is a replenishing drink, so one of those hydration kind of things. You know, um, yeah, that's that's actually got a really good good flavor to it. Um, Kevin, if you're if you're hearing this. Uh, I did comment, I did respond to your comment about where you could find it, because you're up in Oregon. Uh, I looked, and like, it was like a ton of different Walgreens. Um, Tim, Tim, Wal Tim Waiter, Tim Waiter, Water, I think. Uh, Portland had a ton of them. Um, a bunch of other places. Um, so, I mean, check your local Walgreens, or Walgreens in a, I think it's a bigger city or something, but, uh, or just go to Sue Rock's website. Uh, look in front of the store locator, and uh, yeah, it should be okay. Local sales, anyway. Um, but yeah, no. Uh, this is these are these are pretty decent. I mean, to be honest, um, so far they've been fairly fairly good. I don't think I've had one that I just outright disliked. Um, so. Yeah. Mm. Ooh. But it is uh, also um, the 22nd of uh, November. Tomorrow, that's right, Turkey Day. Um, and I want to give thanks to all of you guys who have been uh, with me from the beginning and any of you who have just recently joined. You guys are amazing. You guys are awesome. You guys are my heroes. Really are. I really appreciate you being here. Um, it's nice to have a good community, even even if it, you, no, matter, no matter the size, you know. Um, 
and you guys have been very vocal. You know, it's it's nice to have that kind of like a little bit of back and forth. Um, but yeah, so I've got these. Uh, just so you guys know, I do have some more drinks planned very soon. At least five to six new drinks. Um, there is also one more. I think one more of these is their lime. Uh, this is the Berry Blast, by the way. I think I said that. If I didn't, I should have, because I'm a dumbass. Um, I'm not trying to think of what to talk about, really, because uh, there's a lot of stuff going on right now. Um, I don't... <laughs> I don't like being the guy that like acts like they know everything, or be one, because one, I don't know everything, but also... You never know everything. Newscasters and stuff like that, they know what's what the reports have brought in or what they've kind of delved into. But unless you're the person there at the time, all, you, all you're getting is what was seen to have happened. You don't get some of the extra stuff like why somebody did something. Last night, I was watching a video and... The cops had responded, and there was an older lady, and she was just in, she was in tears and upset at this younger girl. I guess somebody, she was like a relative or something, that she was babysitting or something, but supposedly the girl had been uh, terrorizing her and had taken her phone, and then when you get to talk to the, like, and she just wanted to get her phone so she could call her mom an older lady to give her money to leave to go back home uh, that was that was a little weird but I mean whatever um, but then when you talk to the girl she's upset she's a little bit she is upset but she's not crying but she's also she's also saying a lot of this stuff that I'm not like she tried to rip out the stereo from her tried to um, tossed a tree at her not quite sure what that was and then um, there was something else and then chased her around the uh, proper the area that the, the other houses and everything with a car in her, in her truck and supposedly yeah this the other neighbors saw the this woman trying to, looking like she was trying to run, drive this kid over with a truck. Like, trying to run her over. And, part of me is, for one, no, you don't do that. You know? Now, if the kid had her phone, the only reason you chase it, somebody down like that, is if they have just riled you up. Because it makes no damn sense to try to get in a vehicle and then chase somebody down like that. Like, run, or try to run them over. Like, if, if somebody wants something that you have of theirs, give it to them. They're gonna run you over their fucking truck? Give them back their goddamn phone. Because obviously, you know, I just, I don't, I don't... Everyone gets upset at the person trying to run the person over. Yes. I'm okay. Well, I mean, I'm down. It's like, no, you don't do that. But to get to that point... You hop in your vehicle and chase that person down. If that person, if the girl did have that woman's phone, you give back the phone. If you know you, that the other person is getting riled up enough to the point where they're going to do something dangerous to you, you give back what is theirs that you don't you have. Now, even if that doesn't stop them, boy, what are they going to do? Call the cops? The cops are already there now. It was going to happen. I mean, I don't, I don't know, I, I it, that, that situation pissed me off because I was mad at both of them. You had this, this adult woman in her, oh, I'd say late 40s, early 50s, uh, who was just distraught and in tears, and I have dealt with crocodile tears before. I, I do not respond well 
to crying because, and it, not always, it depends on the situation, but I'm a little biased when it comes to tears. It's either going to affect me, like if I see somebody, somebody crying about something that family or somebody else did to them, I'll be mad for them. Like, why did you make her cry? But other times it's different because it's just like, it looks like you're crying just to make everybody show you sympathy, you know? And that's a no-go for me. I get, I can get really upset by that. But, I don't know. That was the thing. I do, I've known people who manipulated people through sadness and, and crying. And it's very, very frustrating. Um, because... You should always, like, if somebody's crying, I think the human nature to worry about that person go, oh, hey, are you okay? You know? But when people use that to hurt other people, it makes you see that and you go, you know what? I'm just going to walk on by. And that's kind of sad. I don't know. Um, you, got, you, want, you have to try to be... I think we have to try to be better. And that's why... Some of this stuff just, I, I hate wordplay, I hate, you know, bobbing around the, the actual topic, because people are, people are people, people are shitty, do what you can to help, and when it's very obvious to you, not everybody else, to you, that you're being used, stop, you know? And, I, and not just like well, you put yourself out there to help people yes you're being used you know that's that you want it to be of use but when somebody is overdoing it taking advantage in, in a ways that are not appropriate or over what you had planned on giving taking more than you wish to give get out there's nothing that anybody else can do to you that you couldn't do worse to yourself. That's true. But I think the idea is to try to minimize the amount of impact other people have on you. Because it's people we, we let other people affect us so much. And that in, in itself adds to our way of dealing with other people. So we got to a little bit more smarter about it. I don't say I'm not saying people are dumb. Just we're easily affected to the point where it could cause a lot of issues. I don't understand. Worst parking ever. I uh I just want to be thankful. I wish everybody was thankful for the help that they receive, for the help they give. Um, yeah. Anyway, love you guys. I hope you guys are doing well. As always, I have some drinks a lot. I'm going to finish that inside, actually. It's also very cold out here. It's a cold drink, so you're just like... Anyway, as I said, I have some drinks a lot again. And I'm wishing you health, wealth, and love with enough time and gusto to enjoy it all down to the last drop. You guys take it easy.